welcome to indian masterminds this forest was known for its elephant population so how it has now been changed to a tiger territory i would say this area is a beautiful area not just for elephants because this is uh, the last remaining conserved patch of shivalik uh, lower shivaliks so it has obviously as you rightly said that uh, it was known for its elephant it is still part of the shivalik elephant reserve Uh, but there are other uh, animals also like uh, this is also the westernmost limit of uh, king cobras uh, this is also the westernmost limit of tigers uh, this is also uh, a westernmost limit of elephants also uh, by and large so this area was always a, a, i would say a, a, a perfect place to conserve all these animals uh, elephants got prominence early but slowly gradually i would say around 2010 or so the number of tigers also started increasing in this area especially the eastern part so it was realized that it would be better that it uh, also gets the tag or it is also included in the tiger uh, reserve um, i would say uh, of the country so today that's why in 2015 as i said that it was declared a tiger reserve today it is uh, one of the 53 tiger reserves which we have uh, across the country and that number of tigers as well as uh, elephants are uh, in in a very good uh, condition now what is the approximate number of tigers and elephants present in the sanctuary this is so uh, we do uh, conduct census uh, on a regular basis uh, last time the number of tigers in rajaji uh, which was in 2018 uh, were 38 and after that uh, we are hoping that uh, the numbers might have gone up uh, the recent census data is being analyzed uh, so that is for uh, for uh, tigers Uh, there are more than 300 uh, elephants also which roam around in this area uh, so as i said it is beautiful landscape both for tigers and lep- and uh, elephants also uh, means uh, one of the prime species which we have here is leopards uh, the number of leopards are are very good in fact uh, in few uh, ranges of raji tiger reserve leopard density is uh, some of the highest across the globe so it is so rich in uh, in leopards and also herbivores now the issue which was which we are facing is because rajaji is uh, not a single uh, protected area it is part of a larger landscape which is known as tarai arc landscape and we know that all the animals which are the large animals especially say um, elephants uh, tigers leopards they are large range animals which means they need a large area to roam around to survive to uh, better use their habitat but because of this because of these uh, linear infrastructures the area was getting bisected into two part for that reason uh, the animals which are there in eastern rajaji which fortunately has a connectivity with other tiger reserves uh, uh, that other tiger reserve of the country which is corbett uh, and and henceforth uh, even uh, even ahead of that so um, number of animals in that part eastern uh, rajaji was very good especially tigers if you say there are 30 plus tigers in that area but unfortunately because of this uh, heavy movement of traffic on these roads which was a national highway and also a movement of uh, trains uh, the animals were not crossing towards the western rajaji and for that reason uh, the part from uh, rajaji or the western rajaji and also some part of uh, i would say uh, other areas of uh, uh, uttarakhand forest area connected to till yamuna that area which uh, used to have or which has a potential of uh, having 80 tigers okay and there were only uh, three tigers at one time mm-hmm. okay and uh, and because there was no movement of uh, tigers from one area to another area so that was a major challenge which we were facing uh, in recent times uh, though it took a long time it took decades uh, there was an uh, idea which was uh, conceptualized that we should have uh, flyovers uh, in these areas in the crucial areas or in the corridors so there are mainly three three corridors which are uh, there teen pani corridor uh, then uh, lachhiwala corridor and also chila motichur corridor so it was conceptualized that if we have uh, flyovers in these areas then the underpasses may be you can be used by uh, animals to move from one area to another area it was a long struggle uh, there were several uh, i would say studies which were done uh, thankfully from wii several organizations like wti wwf they got together obviously it had a very solid support from government of india and government of uttarakhand uh, since this this uh, this highway was being managed by nhai nhai also came into uh, uh, support and now uh, i would say last year we could successfully complete uh, these flyovers 
and the positive results of these are uh, i would say for everyone to see so we we saw mm. that first uh, the more i would say courageous animals like elephants and all they started crossing uh, under these uh, using these underpasses from one area to another area leopards were next uh, more uh, i would say uh, uh, fearful animals like herbivores they also felt that this area is safe this corridor is safe so they started moving and ultimately uh, the high point was that in october when we uh, when we recorded that a tiger has moved from eastern rajaji using this corridor to western rajaji so that was a very happy situation for us how did you record the movement of a tiger from eastern to western zone so what we do now is uh, for tiger monitoring we use different kind of technology one of them is camera trapping and also we use if the area is stationary we use cctv cameras also and as you know that uh, the stripe pattern of tigers each and uh, individual tiger is different they are like our fingerprints so if you have a photograph of a stripe pattern of a tiger you can easily distinguish one tiger from another tiger so what we did because we were hoping that uh, animals will be using these areas we deployed uh, several um, camera traps on both the sides so uh, there was this tiger which was moving in eastern rajaji i would say uh, trying to dare to uh, cross this area because that uh, corridor has not been used by tigers for for several decades now it was uh, roaming around in that area for quite some time and then we realized because we could identify using the stripe pattern then one fine morning we realized that it has moved to the western part where it was again radio capture uh, the camera trap captured and our camera trap picked uh, it its uh, photograph and when we compared we realized this is the same animal which was moving in eastern rajas and has now shifted into the western rajas and it hasn't returned to the uh, to its earlier zone so i would say that frankly i would not mind if it returns we are still tracking that area if it returns that also proves that there is a free and uh, fair movement of animals on both the sides because uh, when we uh, establish a corridor we don't want that there should be only one way movement of animals we want that animals should move on both the sides because that is what is required for the better genetic exchange of animals uh, so animals which are there in uh, western rajaji they should move to eastern rajaji and the animals which are there in eastern rajaji they should move to western rajaji as they have been uh, doing for ages i would say before we block the corridors but now since corridors are restored so it's better that animal movement on both the sides um, are are happening and uh, should happen that's what the our objective is thank you dr badola for talking to indian masterminds and uh, we wish you all the best in your conservation efforts